Hey everybody, welcome. We just wanted to take a second and make a video to explain what the film, television, and video production program is about. Who's this for? Well, it could be for just about anybody. Maybe you're already in the program and you just want to know more about kind of why you're taking certain classes, or maybe you're looking at the program, maybe you'd like to come here to study, or you're the parent or friend of somebody who'd like to come here and study, and you're curious about what our program offers. And so this is a sort of deep dive into all of the different intricacies of why it is that we chose certain kinds of experiences for you to have to make you the very best film, television, and video production professional that you can possibly be when you get done here. So what we're gonna talk about today, how does the program work? And then where can you get more information? Um, the more information section is mostly about uh, current students. So stick around for that. But first, let's go deep into the program. So basically, year by year, there is an experience that we want folks to have in a fundamental way. And there's kind of a different way that we approach things because a lot of our student population certainly come to us as first time freshmen, but a significant chunk of you all come to us as um, transfer students, as two-year students. So when we're looking at this, you'll see that we've got year one, which is four-year. That means you, you're somebody who's going to come or has come to us as a freshman. Semester one is what transfers are gonna be reading. So year one is the entire experience across both semesters for a four-year student or a first-time freshman student. Yeah, semester one is just that first semester that they're here. Does that make sense? So in year one, you've got your basic foundations or semester one for your transfer students. You got your basic foundations courses, the basic fundamental foundations of film and video production. So you've got visual storytelling, you've got script writing, you've got the fundamentals of the filmmaking process and the basics of audio production. In year two, you've got your, and that's year two for the four-year students or semester two for transfer students. You've got each of the major areas of the production pipeline is gone into in great detail. And then you've got your professional development course. And then year three, it's kind of where we're going to figure out and start to uh, uh, go after your areas of concentration. You're going to be developing your specific voice and your skills. And then part four or year four or semester four, you've got your culminating projects. You're going to have your continued skill development and you're preparing for your basic entry into the, into the career of film and video in whatever way you're going to enter. So let's start with year one, the foundations. First of all, everybody has to be enrolled in what we call the program meeting. The program meeting is an opportunity for all FTVP students to get together a couple of times a semester and find out what's going on in the program. It's also a great opportunity for you guys to network with each other. So there's an opportunity in every class or in every session, I should say, of that meeting for students to pitch projects and then stand around afterwards to be able to talk to other students who might want to crew those projects, work post on those projects, whatever that thing is. So everybody is always required to be enrolled in a program meeting. You constantly have to be enrolled in program meeting and it is mandatory that you attend if you're a student here and you're on our campus, you're on the Webster Groves campus. If you're studying abroad or you're taking a semester off, obviously you don't have to take it, but if you are taking classes, it is expected that you come to the two times a semester program meetings. And that'll be true the entire time here, but you'll sign up your very first semester. After that, we've got FTVP 1000. This is an introduction to F film, television, and video production class. It's going to cover all the fundamentals of how we go about telling stories with cameras, lights, editing equipment. And this is a, a replacement for a sequence of classes that used to come at this point and now come later in the program. We're also adding a fundamental script writing class. The script writing class teaches people how to write all kinds of different scripts, narrative film scripts, documentary scripts, uh, of commercial scripts, a variety of different approaches so that it hits every one of the major approaches that we take. Because by and large, we look at it as that there are three kinds of filmmaking. Narrative filmmaking, the most common, documentary filmmaking, experimental filmmaking. And the basic production process and post-production process for each of those things is pretty common across all the different ways that you can go about making films and videos. So we're going to teach you all the different ways that you can write a script. 
Audio 1000 is an audio production class for non-majors. Audio is so critically important to film and video that even though we don't require you to take any classes besides this one in audio, we need you to have one audio class so that you can have a fundamental sense of how to communicate with the people who are interested in audio. If you'd like to pursue more audio, there is a minor in audio for visual media that you could pursue as well. And then FLST 1000 is film and television appreciation. So this is a chance for you to learn film language. How does a film work? It makes you a better viewer. So this is not a film production class. This is a film studies class where you really get to hone your skills in viewing and critiquing. Then we move on to year two or semester two for transfer students. This is where we get into what we think of as sort of a production pipeline. Each of the different areas of production and post-production are handled here. So again, you're gonna be registered in the program meeting. There are different sections of program meeting which relate back to which kinds of gear you're going to be able to check out from the media center. In the first year or first semester, you're going to be in FTVP 0501. But as you move forward, you're going to be getting into new classes and you're going to get new experience. So in this class, in this, um, year or semester, you very likely should be in 0502 because you should have access to a new equipment package when you get to FTVP 2200 camera and light. So you're going to be in the program meeting, you're going to be in the right one for you, and you're going to start with history of film. History of film is a comprehensive course that starts at the beginning of the medium of film and goes all the way up until very close to the present day and traces some major sort of eras and major things that happened throughout that history to give you a nice foundational underpinning to understand everything that goes on. And then you've got your produce and direct class. So when we get into 21, 22, 23, and 1400, you've got what we think of as sort of the foundation of the program. So what happens is, is a lot of people come to school and they very they know exactly what they want to concentrate on. Other people have had some experience and they're nervous about things. Um, they don't really know much about lighting and they're scared to try it. And another thing that happens is that a lot of people have uh, incoming experience and they get stuck in groups. And because they have that experience, they get pushed to the front and they end up doing everything. And what we think is really important is, is that everybody has to take a turn at the wheel of every major process throughout the production pipeline. And that's what these classes are. So Produce and Direct introduces you in a very uh, deep dive sort of fashion to the fundamentals of producing and directing narrative documentary and experimental films with a heavy predication on narrative filmmaking. Then you got FTVP 2200, camera and light. That's gonna concentrate on how you use cameras and lights to capture the images that you want to capture. Edit and color, the final, and I would suggest the most important writing process in the, in the filmmaking pipeline is the last one, whenever you actually assemble it all together. And that's where you find out whether or not you have a film that you can actually show people. Now you learn how to edit and do some basic color work. And then graphics and effects is a course that teaches you the fundamentals of motion graphics and visual effects, because honestly, there's not a film or video that's made anymore that isn't touched by one or both of those things. So you have to try every one of them. And then there's advanced courses above that that should give you more training in each if you're interested. And we also require that people do a professional development course. Professional development for media careers is going to be an opportunity for you to get your demo reel together, your um, resume, business cards, throw your first website up. And the expectation is that you will keep building on and adding on to that thing as you continue on as a student here. We move on to year three or semester three for transfer students. You're either going to be in FTVP 0502 or 0503, depending upon whether or not you choose as one of your skills to take the advanced cinematography class. And here's where you're going to take a class called Story Lab, which is an opportunity for you to work in groups with other people to develop the kinds of films and videos that you're interested in developing that don't fit elsewhere in the curriculum. It's sort of a big seminar style class and you can work to build the kinds of projects that you wanna build while also working on the skills that you found that you're most interested in. So you can work on a film that you have a, or a video or a, whatever it is, a music video, a documentary, a YouTube show, Anything that you have an idea about, you can build that in there, and you can also work on honing your camera skills, your lighting skills, your editing skills, your motion graphic skills in that course. 
EPMD 4500 Media Business and Entrepreneurship is going to be an opportunity for you to learn more about the business in general, how to be ready to get out there and actually be a media entrepreneur, which is what most of us are because we're freelancers. And then there are also skills and theory courses. Skills courses are ways for you to kind of sculpt and define your process as you're here. So you're going to want to take as many of those as you have available to you um, because they're going to help you learn how to do things that aren't covered in the curriculum elsewhere or reinforce things that have been covered elsewhere and then go beyond. So we have things like production design, working with actors, production management, um, and any of the courses that we have that are uh, either or courses in the major where you see that you could take this class or that class. So, for example, you could take Production House or another course, uh, Capstone B, uh, pre-production, Capstone B pre-production, I'm sorry. Uh, either of those are also going to function as skills courses and they'll function down in the elective section. And then theory classes are mostly film studies classes that help you build the theoretical underpinnings and chase down the interest that you have that will really help you make the kinds of films that you want to make going forward. And then in year four or semester four, if you're a transfer student, again, you're going to be in your program meeting. You're going to continue to work your skills and theory courses, and you're going to potentially look to see whether or not you want to do an internship because we have a very active internship program, and we can put you with companies that will give you a chance to do real work for real clients in the real world. You're also going to continue to finish up your theory courses at this point. And so that takes us to the sort of culminating part of the degree where you're going to have to make a decision. Do you want to pursue um, writing and directing narrative or documentary films? Or are you going to pursue writing and directing branded content, commercials, YouTube shows, that kind of thing? Or cinematography or editing or motion graphics or visual effects, one of the skills or craft-based areas of the industry. So if you want to be a writer director specifically, or if you want to pursue that as your capstone experience, you're going to sign up for FTVP 3510 pre-production capstone. And that means that you will take the FTVP 4210 senior capstone B. Now, if you want to pursue the other path where you're going to be doing branded content, you're going to be doing commercials, you're going to be a cinematographer, editor, post-production post specialist, motion graphics artist, visual effects artist, you're going to sign up for Production House, which is FTVP 3510, and you're going to take the pre-production, I'm sorry, the senior capstone A, FTVP 4200 at the end. What is Production House? Production House is a course that teaches you how to do work for real clients in the real world. So that's a course that actually is also offered as a skills course. And I highly recommend that folks think about taking that if they want to learn how to work with clients or hone skills in general. I also want to point out that that's a really important class for creatives to be in as well. So those of you who are interested in writing, directing, it would benefit you and it would benefit the course to be in a class like that. But there is no narrative production in that class generally. It's usually more documentary style. And so that takes you through the whole thing. If you'd like to get more information, one place you can get information for current students is you can go inside of Connections, and we have a page in Connections uh, under the School of Communications. If you go to the student area of that and you go all the way to the bottom, there's some FTVP pages, and you can click on those and then go find all of the documents for the program there. You can also look online in the course catalog. You can also go to Canvas. If you're a current student, you should be enrolled in one of the program meetings. And in those program meetings, course shells inside of Canvas, there should be plenty of information there. When you come to the program meeting, there's going to be an opportunity for you to ask questions. And you can always ask questions about clarity for the how to, how to understand the degree. Then you should always feel free to ask your advisor or any one of the faculty that you run into. So if you see me in the hallway and you want to have a conversation about how the program works, feel free. You can also feel free to reach out to any of us in any way, shape, or form. You can find our information in the um, faculty and staff directory. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks so much for watching.